Home inspections. Who should have one and what all is involved in a good home inspection? Hey, I'm Mark Bamig with Michael Saunders and Company, and today I'm happy to be joined with Don Beeman from All American Home Inspectors. Now, there's a lot of home inspectors that you can choose from, and we usually like to supply a list of several for you to choose from, but today I'm on site with Don, and he's going to do a home inspection for us on this property on Anna Marie Island. So, hey, Don, Don, Mark. Good. How are you? I'm doing good today. Um, give me an overview of what people need to watch out for, and why is it important to have a home inspection? Okay, a lot of things that you come in the house, you'll look around, you'll see pretty lights and stuff like that, but you won't see what I'm looking for. I'm looking for defects, uh, double taps in the panel, maybe a leak here in the roof here and there, uh, something in the shower doesn't work right, just small things like that. Okay, and um, I know you can't catch every single little thing, but I'm sure that there's probably three or four key items that you might check. Maybe roof, uh, air conditioner, the, the what would be things, the ones yeah. that are key? The four keys for me is the roof, which down in Florida, the way it rains sideways sometimes, we need to have a good roof on the house. And then I'm worried about the air conditioner, because down here with the temperatures getting in the 90s sometime, you do not want a failed air conditioner. So then we were going to work on the electric next because we need, everybody needs electric to work in all the outlets, all your appliances to work properly. Right. And then the last thing we're concerned about is the plumbing. We're looking for leaks, make sure the toilet flushes properly, the showers are working. Just small things like that. Anything there can be a leak or a problem with the toilet or something like that, we're looking okay. for. Okay. Now, there is another thing that is um, prevalent here, and insurance companies like to see inspection reports if the house is a certain age or older of what we call wind mitigation and four point. Can you give me some ideas of what, what those are? Wind mitigation is an inspection where we tell you how your roof is fastened to your structure of your house. Uh, we have to go in the attic, take pictures of the clips, the straps that are holding the trusses down to the outside wall, and then we take pictures of the nails that they use to nail the trusses to the plywood. They always miss, so I find a missed nail in the attic, we call it a shiner, and then I go from there and I space it out with a metal detector that tells me if they're six inches on center, eight inches on center, pictures of that, and then we do plywood measurements, and then that all gets sent to your insurance company and that will help you save money on your insurance premiums. Great. The four point is we're looking for four specific things. The roof, the air conditioner, the electric, and the plumbing. Houses 25 years or older, they usually make them get those in Florida because they want to see if things have been upgraded since the house has been built. Great. Okay, right. and that lets the insurance company know whether the water heater is original, the air conditioner, or the plumbing, or anything like that. So, Don, after you have finished the uh, inspection report, how does that get back to the customer and what is that going to include? So, what happens next is after I'm done, I head back to the office. Um, I sit down at the computer with my boss, well, my secretary, and we go through all the pictures. We num number them and we tell you exactly what the picture means. And then we go through the report. Anything that's not pictured, we put on a separate column like something simple, say maybe a stopper doesn't work. We don't need a picture of that, so we just put that in a separate column. And then within usually two hours after I leave the inspection, you'll have the full report. Okay, and that report, what, about 10, 12, 15 pages? At the most, it'll be 12 pages. Okay. I like to do things simple so people can understand. Perfect, perfect. Don, I want to thank you so much, and uh, it's a pleasure working with you. Okay, I'm going to get started. 